Today we're going to be looking at the 10 cheapest two bedroom, two bathroom rentals that I could find on Florida's East Coast that have an ocean view. And given the current state of the real estate market all over the country and especially down here in Florida with how crazy the prices have been, it was actually a nice pleasant surprise to be able to find this many good deals and I want to share them with you here today. Now real quick before we get into the listings, remember anybody who's looking to move to Florida, be sure to give my real estate team a call. All the information is down in the description. All right, so this very first listing is located in Jensen Beach, Florida, which is pretty much halfway up the middle of the state, roughly. So you're kind of like smack in the middle of the state. And it's listed at $29.95 a month, and it's 1,153 square feet. As you can see from this very first picture, it has a direct ocean view, which is what we're looking at here today, guys. Not all of them are gonna have a direct ocean view, but they do have some sort of an ocean view. And uh, right away, I think this place is pretty nice. You know, the furniture is always gonna be subjective, right? Not everybody is gonna like the furniture that you see in some of these units, but you can tell that the place is clean. The balcony is quite spacious. You also have an ocean view from the bedroom here, so that's really nice. And as somebody else who lives on the beach and has an ocean view, I can say that I like this apartment. I could totally see myself living in a place like this. The kitchen is nice and new. You got granite countertops. It's an open kitchen. It looks pretty spacious as well, so that's also nice. And we're gonna be looking at these units in descending order. So it's gonna be from the most expensive down to the cheapest at the number one spot. So uh, they're just gonna keep getting cheaper. You got a washer and dryer in the kitchen. These aren't the best pictures. They don't really do the place that much justice. You know, they could have done better taking some better pictures of this place, but overall, the unit's very nice. You got a walk-in closet here. Definitely seems to be worth the $3,000 a month they're asking. The next one up, I actually could not believe that I was able to find one unit in Miami Beach. The downside is this is only one unit. And I searched all of Miami Beach and this is the only unit that falls into this category because I capped the price at 3,000 a month to try to weed out some listings. And this is the only unit that's two bedroom, two bath in Miami Beach at this price point with an ocean view. Anything else is gonna cost significantly more nowadays. So things have changed down here quite a lot, actually. A year and a half ago, last time I did one of these videos, you could at least find a handful, if not a dozen of these here. Not anymore. So this one obviously doesn't have a direct ocean view. You kind of have to be on the balcony and peer to over to your left in order to see the ocean here. Otherwise, it's like you're not even on the beach. But I know this building is definitely on the ocean and the nice thing about this building is that the units here are very spacious. This unit's almost 1,300 square feet, and it's very open, you know. It looks like they did a nice job um, just keeping the place clean and bright, and it looks welcoming, you know. That's the nice thing about it. The building itself I don't love. I'm not going to get into the reasons for that in this video, but this unit is definitely one of the nicer ones I've seen there, especially for this price point. And um, overall, I think it's a pretty good deal for being right on the beach here in Miami Beach for this price point. The next one is in Daytona Beach, which is slightly cheaper at $2,900 a month. But this one is a bonus because my filter was $3,000 a month max, minimum two bedroom, two bath. But this one's actually a three bedroom for this price. It's three bedroom, two bathroom, 1,735 square feet. So that was a nice surprise to be able to find something like this. And as you can see, you got the ocean view there. Picture wasn't taken on the greatest day, but you do have the ocean view. Very spacious living room area. Once again, it's not my taste in furniture. You can see a lot of this stuff is pretty old looking, but um, you know, for this price for a three bedroom guys, I mean, this is almost unheard of. I was surprised to find a three bedroom at this price point, especially in a popular place like Daytona Beach like that. So this was, I guess you could say, a diamond in the rough. Now this next one we have is in Port Orange, Florida, which is just down the street from Daytona Beach. It's a little bit to the south, and I actually like this area a lot. It was one of the areas on my 10 best places to live in Florida. This whole area, I think, has a lot of potential for the future, and even now it's a nice place to live. And as you can see, we got a two bedroom, two bath here with a direct ocean view for $2,800 a month. It's a pretty nice unit. 
you know you got windows everywhere obviously that's what the sunrise looks like we get the sunrise not the sunset here on the east coast of florida pictures aren't the greatest but you get the idea once again you have a nice view from the bedroom as well i don't know why they would show this picture because it definitely does not do the apartment justice you know showing this nighttime picture with everything closed but the thing we're focusing on here is the view it's a really nice view the place is a decent size at 1100 square feet and um yeah Port Orange, direct ocean, man. Now this next listing, I was hesitating to even include, but it does meet the criteria I put in the search parameters. But the only downside about this listing is it's very small. I mean, this unit is the size of a one bedroom, but it is technically a two bedroom, two bathroom. And I think they do a lot of short-term rentals at this building. This unit's in Fort Lauderdale, right near Las Olas. And it does say in the description here that this price is an annual rental price. And if you wanted to rent this short-term, it's $1,000 more per month. So you'd be looking at significantly more. But some of these units actually are open for short-term rental. So that's something I should just put out there. I'm not going to go through all these pictures because there's 62 of them. But you can kind of see they have it set up basically like... It feels like a hotel room, a little hotel resort kind of place. And I want to say that this place was actually in my last video that I made uh, like this, showing the oceanfront rentals. And you could see before that the view isn't the greatest and the setup they have is very minimal. But it is right across the street from the beach in Fort Lauderdale. So the location is prime here. So you don't rent this place for the size but you do get a little bit of that sliver of the ocean view and you're right in all of the mix of Fort Lauderdale which would be very favorable to many of you so um, hey this is available now this one as you can see we're coming down in price now you know we're down to $2,500 a month in Cocoa Beach and the size actually went up at 1600 square feet it has a partial ocean view so we'll see what that means in just a minute but the pool area seems pretty nice obviously they got pictures of the beach and here's what I mean by the partial ocean view. You can see it there, but you're not facing it directly, but it's there, you know, and you're kind of on a lower floor, so you don't see it as amazing as you would on a higher floor, but hey, it's an ocean view, and that's what we're looking for here. Let's take a look at some of the rest of the pictures here. This one's most likely set up for a short-term rental as well. Anytime I see these double beds in the bedrooms like that, almost guaranteed, they're doing some sort of short-term rental situation to try to accommodate as many people as possible. You know, you have the double beds in one room and then the king or queen size bed in the other bedroom trying to accommodate at least a family of like four to six here because usually they'll have like a sofa bed or something like that as well. But this one's not too bad. You know, I think this is a pretty decent deal for $2,500 a month being in Cocoa Beach. It's a pretty desirable area in Florida for people to want to come down and spend time in. So, and you can see here, it's got the washer and dryer inside the unit, which I always love that. That's actually a deal breaker for Lizzie and I. Like when we look for a place to live, it must have the washer and dryer. And unfortunately that eliminates a lot of options. And most of these places probably aren't gonna have that. I think that's only two of them so far that we've seen that do. But I actually like this unit quite a bit, even though it doesn't have a direct ocean view. I think just the overall setup and layout, the way they have this set up is pretty nice. Don't love this carpet in the living room, but hey, it's a rental. You can't change that. It seems like a pretty peaceful spot to be on the beach, and I've been here, I've been to this area, and for the most part, it is. So this seems like a pretty good deal. The next one is just slightly less money at $24.95 a month in Pompano, but it is also significantly smaller. The last place was 1,600 square feet. This place is only a little over 1,000, so that's a lot smaller, but this is more in South Florida. So I guess that's part of the reason why it's basically this price for even though it's a lot smaller. Every time you go further south in Florida, you're usually going to get higher prices like this. So you get a lower price, but at a smaller size unit. So that's the trade-off here. Now this one's actually empty, so you can tell this one they're looking to do an annual rental here. So this unit would be good for somebody who's actually looking to move down to Florida, live on the beach, have an ocean view, and pay a decent price. And for $2,500 a month nowadays, to actually be able to get an ocean view now at this price point with two bedroom, two bathrooms, guys, that's actually a very good deal, no matter where you're looking in Florida. I'm not talking just Miami. I'm talking anywhere in Florida because I searched the entire East Coast, and there's really not that many of them. I saved about 20 of them and narrowed it down to these 10 because they had ocean views. So there's other ones that are in this price point that didn't have ocean view, so that's what we're talking about here. You know, being able to get this view for this price, 
pretty rare. I mean, nothing too special about this place, you know, at least they have some decent looking amenities, obviously. And uh, it's kind of an older building. I mean, the gym is pretty nice. The gym looks like, a, you know, they have some decent equipment in there. They got a little library, quiet room. So now we're still down in South Florida in West Palm Beach, and we're looking at this place at only $22.50 a month. So we've actually dropped down in price quite a bit here. And we have, once again, a partial ocean view. Smaller unit, just a little over 1,000 square feet. But you can still see the water. The furniture is definitely more dated in this place, but they tried to go for at least the beachy feel here. And it's nice when you have some windows you can open up because some of these condos have windows you can't open. So that's always nice and you can probably see the ocean a little bit from this bedroom. So I like that. Most likely this is probably a short term rental as well. I feel like after just looking at a lot of these over the years that you can kind of just tell when you look at them if it's probably a short term rental or not. Usually whenever they have like this type of setup it's just a short term rental. And I'm telling you this as I'm flipping through all the pictures, you can see the amenities, the common areas here. They got some barbecue area outside, that's nice, by the pool. Might even have some beach service here, so that's also pretty cool. Not bad, guys. West Palm Beach. Now this one, we're heading back up to near Daytona Beach in Ormond Beach, which is an actual area that I like a lot as well. And only $2,200 a month for this two-bedroom, two-bath. It is on the smaller side again, you know, 975 square feet. And you can tell it's a little bit of an older unit. But hey, that ocean view gets you every time, you know. I love walking into these units and seeing that ocean view. And we even have a stackable washer and dryer in here at this price point with an ocean view. I already like this listing a lot, even disregarding the decorations or whatever. You got ocean view from the bedroom here as well. At least it looks, you know, tidy and just like ready to move in. You know, it looks like it's pretty well maintained even though it's got some older stuff in here. And as you can see, when you get into this area of Florida, it does have a direct ocean view, but you got A1A that you actually have to cross to go over to the beach, but there's no, there's no way of getting around that. And Fort Lauderdale is the same way. There's a lot of these little towns here in Florida where sometimes the buildings aren't actually on the sand. But this is actually good if a hurricane comes, you know, and you're a little bit further away from the water, not so bad. And we've actually come full circle back to Jensen Beach at $2,200 a month for this two bedroom, two bathroom. And this is literally the cheapest oceanfront unit that I could find that has an ocean view. And you can see this one is probably the most outdated one of them all. But obviously it's the cheapest, so you get what you pay for, guys. If you're looking to rent something short term, Honestly, does it really matter how new the kitchen is? I don't think so. You got that ocean view. That's what people are coming here and looking for, is just having that beautiful ocean view. And look at that. We even have the washer and dryer, which is amazing. At this price point, I would not expect to have the washer and dryer. You could tell it's probably in here illegally. It looks like this closet is just supposed to be a regular closet, and somehow they did a washer and dryer in here, but I love that view. I'll tell you one thing, guys, that ocean view never gets old. You know, I've been here 14 years living on the beach, and I still love looking out and seeing that water every single day. If you're watching this video, then chances are that's probably something that you love too. Now, I have a couple of bonus listings for anybody who stuck with me this long into the video, and I wanted to just bring these up because I thought they were interesting properties that were close to the beach or right on the beach but without the view. So I like this one a lot that's in Fort Pierce, Florida, because it's basically like a little house, but on the beach. So this is a pretty unique looking property. You can see it's across the street from the beach. So all you gotta do is cross the road, similar to that last condo that we looked at. This property seems to be a duplex, so you're probably staying in one side and maybe the owner lives in the other where they rent out the other side as well. But it's just a different type of property. You know, it feels like having a little house or a little bungalow on the beach you got this little deck set up here. It's just a different feeling, you know? You can kind of walk across the street with your paddleboard or your surfboard and just come and go as you please, no elevators, and it's just having a little house on the beach. And that's always something I thought was really cool, and I think that a lot of people would enjoy this type of living here in Florida. Now the other bonus listing I wanted to show you is pretty similar to the last one, and this is also a short-term rental, and that's why I wanted to show it to you, because a lot of people ask me sometimes in the comments, you know, where can I find short-term rentals? There's really no uh, 
method. You just have to look, you know? That's the problem. Like, there are websites like Airbnb and stuff that do really short term, but say you want like a three or six month rental, you're just gonna have to comb through them and read the description. Like, this one, for example, you know, it's rented until May 1st for a short term lease. So that means you'll be able to rent it for short term as well. And it kind of gives you all of the breakdown of the costs associated with that here with this type of listing. Because anytime you rent a unit here for less than six months, you're going to have to pay this resort tax, which is 11.5% hotel tax, as you can see, applies to all leases less than six months. So that's just how it goes. When you rent short term, you're going to have to pay a premium. You got to pay that extra tax. And a lot of times the owner's just gonna charge extra as well because they know people who are coming here and staying in these type of properties are basically coming as a snowbird or for some type of vacation and they know that they can get the extra money for it and they always do. So 2,400 a month is the price but it's gonna be extra when you factor in this 11.5% tax if you're doing less than six months. But again, we're looking at a property that it's kind of like a little townhouse basically but it's very nice it's very modern and that's one thing that i like the most about it it feels like a, a little house right by the beach and it has a water view but this is the actual intracoastal view so you're looking at the intracoastal waterway not the ocean but to me that's still awesome i love this little outdoor patio setup that they have and ironically enough even though this video was about oceanfront rentals with ocean view I actually kind of like this property the most out of all of them. I just like the look and feel of it. You know, how modern a place is really goes a long way in just how comfortable you feel in the property, in my opinion. Even if you're only staying a few months, you want it to feel nice. And this place has basically the ideal beach setup here. And again, we got washer and dryer in the unit. We got some amenities. We got tennis court. We got pool. We got views. What else can you ask for? Now, if you guys are looking to buy a home in 22 or looking to make a move here in 2022, make sure you check out my most recent home buyer tips video right over here, and I'll catch you guys over there.